Still Savage says she almost quit music after backlash from Love Me, Love Me, Love Me, Love Me. I had to sing it, yeah. In an interview with New York Times, she said the video for Love Me, Love Me was banned by National Broadcasting Commission in Nigeria. And as a result, some of her performances at the time were cancelled. She went on to say she was inspired to come back by girls who constantly slid into her DM to tell her they love her tattoo and piercings. Mm. I see as a reservations on this. So and the reservation I've decided you. not to talk about. Like, I don't want to be seen as woman bashing woman, but please <laughs> go ahead. Yeah, I don't, have, talk I, I don't have the energy angle, today, so I beg. Uh -uh. Just... I remember, though, that there was that backlash. I remember there was a song after that where she wore brown. Mm -hmm. Um, and she was on the floor. I don't know if no, you know. that's she has gone past that stage. I think that was when she, I think she just got married or something. That she was really sexy in that video. Okay, that was, I, that's I, a I remember backlash. that came after yeah. mm -hmm. Love Me, Love Me. Like it progressed and it got worse and mm -hmm. worse and worse. Mm -hmm. For me, that's what I remember. And that's what she said. Now she yeah, said she made the skirt shorter. That, mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. That it made sense when I read this because I remember clearly experiencing and remembering that. I'm part of those girls. So let me not lie to you. I'm part of those girls that was very inspired by that because I like I like liberation, whatever that looks like. Doesn't mean I don't have a tattoo and I'm I'm, I'm not interested. But I like women for whatever cause it is that you decide that you want to pick and that you do it with a lot of liberation when there's especially when there's backlash so for me um she had me at that she had me at the fact that you know she was she didn't care what people thought and still you know wanted to express herself however she felt um she wanted to do that to me yes that is inspiring another thing i took is that sometimes i can be in my head a little bit and i'm sure i'm not the only person where you're, you're feeling like well people actually like this part of myself and then you realize that whatever it is that you are doing there's a fan for that there's a target yeah. there's a there's a there's target people target. for you that would dig that um and so you know there's really no need to you know pretend to yourself or kind of like restrict yourself and just honestly just live your life so i'm glad that she opened her dms that she could see all those things um, that inspired her to go back to music because I, I feel like she's done quite good for well for herself for the most part. Mm. All right, so this takes me back to profiling and um, people judging you for you based on your appearance, you know, prejudice against you without even getting to know you. Mm. You know, a lot of people see people with tattoos or people with piercings or and all that and already they have a certain expectation from you like they think when they tell you oh, that's all they hear empty mm -hmm. barrel but then when you open your mouth to speak they'll be like they get impressed so i think it takes us back to the police force so apart from tiwa savage now you see stars of rising people because they're on dreadlocks and a lot of them are gainfully employed but mm. you don't even know where they're going but because they're on dreadlocks because they have tattoos you're profiling so i like what tiwa savage did because there are still people who are in that same condition who are on which and who are not necessarily irresponsible mm. but because of what they look like people are beginning to talk and this is a very talented woman you mm. can't take away her talent so the fact that she wants to project herself and we all know that sex sells mm. especially in the entertainment industry mm. so if your look is going to make you sell sister go for it don't listen is that to what a compliment to an insult i'm not even sure anymore. what is, is that a compliment? Which of them? The, what you said that sex sells, and that's why she... Well, sex sells, though. Yeah, no, but sex it, sells. So to, to us, Savage revealing herself like that, is that was that a compliment? I think that's part of her craft. No, that's part of right, the craft, right. because even the type of song, Kele, Kele, Love, Kele, That's part of her craft. I mean, if, if you watch her closely, you realize that the the sexiness and revealing whatever is evolving Imagine her singing. as... As the year goes yeah. by, so imagine her singing. And she's revealing more love. anyway mm -hmm. as time goes by. Imagine her singing, Love me, love me, love in the room, Buba. <laughs> it can be in Iran, but <laughs> and I think she can also saying. execute "Love Me, Love Me, Love Me" without going all that of anyway. Course, so, of if course, you see uh, this story, course. it's not I, I my. I agree with what you're saying that you don't really right have to expose yourself. Of but course. if that is what works for, for you, you which is what don't she has let done. people yeah. talk mm. you out I mean, of people it. People bash Simi on a daily basis that she doesn't even dress like a celebrity, more or less. But we still love her, and she's still making her money. Mm. But I, I, I think doing doing life or making decisions based on other people's. For, um, thoughts is where the problem is. Yeah. So if I'm going to now be modest because that's what is expected of me, but I don't really rate the the value, or I'm not actually down for that lifestyle. I'm just faking. I feel like that's where the problem is. So, mm. do, so you, do what makes you happy. Yeah. Do you? Okay.